Hi guys, I'm Quinn Marie with Red Carpet Report. We are here at the Nokia Theater for the 66th annual Creative Arts Emmys. We're going to be speaking with some of the presenters as well as some of the nominees. So you were nominated. Yes. How's that feel? How did that happen? It feels amazing. Yeah. It's a runaway train. I, I, I don't want to get off of it. I'm nominated with my idols. Uh, Seth MacFarlane is a god. Don't tell him that. Um, Seth Green, uh, Harry Shear is a legend. Maurice LaMarche is an icon in this business. So it's really dumbfounding and wildly surreal. And I'm just so, so excited about this day. How does it, or how fun is it to, to do voiceover for Dog with a Block? It's really fun. Uh, something a lot of people don't know is that I actually stand in for the dog. I'm not even joking with you. For three days a week, I rehearse as the dog on my knees. My knees hurt a lot. Yeah, I got back problems. Not your problem, though. I wouldn't worry about it. Um, and uh, yeah, I get to rehearse with the kids for three days a week and then I'm behind a microphone and a music stand and behind the cameras and the electricians and I try to feed in dialogue um, in between the kids talking and, and, the, uh, and the trainer commanding the dog and it's a crazy process. It just ended up being the best way to shoot this show. I think a, a four camera show with a live action dog that's going to be animated is something that's never really been done. They're like, this is just an experiment. We weren't planning on this being a television show. It sounds complicated. It's possible. I got it out though. Yeah, uh, it's been incredible though. It's been it's been a, a, a hybrid between theater and you know being in front of the camera and being a voiceover artist as well. That's great. Um, so, who are you looking forward to seeing tonight? Anybody? Yeah, I want to see the guys in my category. I met up with Seth Green, and he's not quite right. And we hung out a little bit, so I'd like to see him. Okay. Because um, he seems fun at the bar, you know. That's, that's what you look for. Yeah, I do. Someone who's a good conversation at, at the, the watering hole. Awesome. Uh, I'd love to meet Seth McCartney. I'd really love to meet the guys in my category. For good or for better or worse, we're all united for this day. Totally. And then, we'll, you know, we'll go our separate ways. And I think it's time after this. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Tell me you like this video by hitting like. And be sure to subscribe for more interviews. And leave me a comment with who you're rooting for for the Primetime Emmys.